VMware workstation installation is completed. Okay, let's restart that. I have restarted my computer after installing VMware workstation. Let us open the VMware software. We will create a virtual mission for the domain controller. We have the ISO file. In fact, I downloaded the Windows Server 2008 trial edition from Microsoft. I will give that ISO file here and I will say install the operating system from the ISO file. Otherwise, I can mount that ISO file to a drive and I can use that drive here or straight away I can give the ISO file here. So it said the Windows Server 2008 is detected. Since it is enterprise trial edition, we don't need to give the product key. The virtual machine name is cluster DC, domain controller. And you can accept the rest of the default settings for the RAM I am going to set 512 MB RAM ok and this will be bridge networking because this connects to the physical networking on the laptop let it be LSI logic SAS we are going to create new virtual disk that is fine SCSI recommended that is fine and maximum disk size for this virtual operating system we will use 15 GB and that's pretty much it and if you say finish it's going to create the virtual operating system and it is going to start the process from the ISO file You can maximize the, maximize the window by clicking this button. I think installing Windows Server 2008 software it will take some time. What I will do, I will pause the video here and I will continue after the installation. Okay. Okay, I just installed the Windows Server 2008 on the domain controller machine. Maximize the window. First, let us set the password for the administrator and the other users. Okay, we should uh, disable the UAC as well. We'll disable the UAC. Otherwise, it's uh, it will be unnecessarily annoying us to disable the UAC ok we also need to disable the firewall firewall should be disabled on all the virtual machines Okay, we disable the firewall. Now, for the administrator and for every user for that matter, I will set a password. For simplicity, we can keep the same password for all the users.
okay i have set the password for both the users but in the real production environment you need to have different passwords and strong passwords okay now we need to disable the uac go to control panel you will see users user accounts double click that turn uac off turn that off otherwise it will unnecessarily annoy you okay now i'm going to restart the machine okay it will take some time to restart uh, i will pass the video here again i will resume after the computer is back up running okay i just restarted the machine let us maximize the window Now we will apply the service packs. Okay, uh, it will take some time for me to apply the service pack and uh, various settings. Uh, what I will do, I will pass the video here and I will resume after installing the service pack 2 on this machine. Alright, I have applied the service pack 2 on the domain controller machine. Let us see that. Maximize this virtual operating system. And this is domain controller machine. Go to the my computer, right click see the properties as you can see the service pack 2 has been applied and I have assigned 512 MB RAM and this is a 32 bit operating system okay and now this machine is good to go now what we need to do we need to create two more virtual operating systems for the node 1 and node 2 so what I will do, I will uh, create the virtual operating systems and I will apply the service pack 2 on those two machines. I will build those two machines. Now I am creating node 1. And I have copied the ISO file so that I can install the two nodes parallelly. Okay, so same um, Windows Server 2008 I copied, and I'm going to use one ISO file for node one and another ISO file for node two. We don't need to enter the private key because this, this is evaluation edition. And let's call it as a node one. and we will assign 512 MB RAM for this mission and we need two network adapters for node 1 and node 2 one is public IP which will create bridge networking and another for public private IP I will use host only networking and these two nodes will communicate each other for the heartbeat connection using the private IP address. So here I, I have assigned just one network address, net, network adapter, and later I will assign one more network adapter, the private. So rest of the default settings you can accept.
and maximum size I will assign 15 gigabytes finish that will create the node 1 and it will start installing Windows Server 2008 from the ISO file here you can right click here and go to the property settings network adapter click add you will select the network adapter I already have bridge network adapter so now I need host only for the private IP finish that so I have assigned two two network adapters for this node one okay so it is installing node one I will also parallelly install node 2 operating system so create one more virtual machine next next and here instead of selecting this ISO file I'll select another ISO file because I don't want same ISO file being used by both both nodes parallelly so I copied and uh, I have selected the Windows uh, Server 2008 ISO file here so click next 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 and we'll assign 512 MB RAM for the node 2 and for the public IP select bridge, bridge networking here we'll do 15 gigabytes hard hard space somewhere we should have given okay we need to give the let us give the name of the virtual machine as node 2 okay now now node 2 is getting ready to be installed right click on that click settings add we already have the bridge networking connection and create one more network adapter for private IP select host only for that because it doesn't need to connect with the physical network on the host computer okay now for the node one we don't need to enter the product key because this is evaluation edition I'm installing Windows Server 2008 Enterprise Evaluation Edition. Okay, it will take another half an hour to one hour to build the Node 1 and Node 2 and uh, I will resume the video after installing the node 1 and node 2 and I'll, I'll apply the service packs service pack 2 on both the machines and I will resume after that.